Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's a new day and a new episode. Welcome to the new episode. Thanks for coming. So today we're going to take a break from doing pretties in the nether. We've done a few tunnels now, so uh, I thought it's time to have a little bit of a break from that. And I thought we'd come out and make a start on our elytra course. Um, this is something that uh, me and Princess Lil built um, a couple of weeks ago now, and we never really got further than this. So there's Princess Lil. Hello. Hello. And uh, as you can see, I've made a bit of a hole. Now, the keen eye viewers of you will notice that's not a very uniformed hole. And considering I'm very, very precise with my pickaxe, um, you would notice that I've used a certain block. And I've never used this block in Minecraft. So I thought, TNT. Let's blow the world up. Let, let's just destroy it. So, uh, so yeah, so we've got a, a bit of a hole. Kind of goes under and around slightly. Um, kind of curves a little bit there, and it kind of stops there at the moment. So it's a case of now just continuing on. Um, I'm pretty sure that with Princess Lil helping me, she will blow herself up several times doing this. But it'll be fun to watch. Now, what I should tell her is if she blows herself up, she may very well lose items. So try not to blow yourself up, eh? Um, I'm kind of sticking sea lanterns and... Uh, could we get... No, we didn't. So, yeah, I've, I've tried that a couple of times now and I just keep banging my head here. So I think we're going to have to move that out a bit, I think. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just chucking in some glazed terracotta and pointing you in the direction you've got to go, a bit of sea lantern edge to keep it sort of illuminated so we don't get um, mobs spawning down in here. Uh, this has got to be made just a little bit wider, I think, here. Um, it's just a little bit too narrow, uh, but it, it it's coming along. It's a start. Um, I was going to make it all pretty and make it a cylindrical sort of flight course, but I think it's actually quite nice looking when it's kind of rough and ready and rugged, like I've just blown holes through the wall. It's pretty much what I've just about done. So I think I might just leave it rugged like this and just chuck in some um, some sort of terracotta and lights to show you which way you're going all the way through the course. So I'm going to start getting on, at least get this part of the tunnel done and flyable, and then we will come back and show you what we've got. Okay, a little bit's changed since you were here last. Um, I have made a big hole and I've extended it to come out of that hole. Um, and good timing for the rain, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I've added some dispensers here and here so that when you come through, it kind of gives you a firework and a visual uh, representation of your start and finish times, um, basically. And I've made up a load of fireworks here and like so uh so yeah so let's let's go have a little little look through our little hole here um nothing too special it is meant to be rugged i need to put some more sea lanterns in down here as well that reminds me um and one over here because it's dark over there too uh so yeah so you'll kind of come up out through that one there and let's grab a pearl let's go over there somewhere there we go right so You'll come up out of that hole through this one, kind of UE, back through this one, and then down through that one. And as you come down through that one, you will then go through that side of the mountain. Now, that is a tad tight at the moment. Um, it's only uh, a couple of blocks tall, so I do need to make that a bit bigger. Um, maybe by one more block. I can get it one out of nine attempts. Witsy was about the same. So I think we need to make that just one more bigger and a big arrow on the floor so that when you're coming down, you know where you're heading in. Um, I thought that that was probably the brightest thing I could put here. Um, but yeah, so you'd come down through there and then out through. And that's pretty much all I've got at the moment. Um, I'm sort of working on this and other projects as well. So it's uh it's kind of a long going project but it's fun it's it's good and it's uh quite challenging really really challenging to kind of get everything so that it is actually flyable 
um, and not just, oh, wow, that looks pretty cool, uh, but actually really not flyable at all. So, yeah, that's uh, that's coming along. Um, when we get round to it, I am going to kind of make these into something. So Witsky had a good idea that this hole here is like a, a big fish or something that is uh, swallowing you up or something, you know, along them sort of lines. So that will be quite interesting to try and um, design and come out with. Uh, these, not so sure about what I'm going to do with them, but I spent ages crafting up banners for arrows. These ones are the no entries, but the banners for the arrows. And Wits comes along and says, yeah, I think you should number them. It's like, oh, okay, that's going to take me a while. I'll get on that. So now I'm going to have to go back to the crafting bench and craft up a load of numbers for these these hoops, which uh, is, it, he's got a point. He, he has got a point, but it's, <laughs> it's so frustrating <laughs> that I'd spent all that time making those arrows thinking, oh yeah, that'd be all right, that'd be good, and then actually didn't really think about the fact that they're going to need to know where they're going. But it went off quite well. Witsy um, was pretty good. He struggled a couple of times, so that shows me that the course is actually doable and is tough, so it's something that will need to be learned. This one I might make slightly bigger, um, simply because it was very tight for him to get through there. Uh and I, I did find that as well. So I think I might make that one just a one block bigger or even a half slab bigger. Um, maybe make these half slabs instead of full blocks. That might do it. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, Elytra course update. And we are continuing with that. I've still got all of my resources on me ready to go. And uh, yeah, so let's go off to the next little project that I want to do in this episode. And uh, I will see you when I get there. Our next project is this. I, I can't bear to see this rocket shop anymore. It, it's, uh, it upsets my happiness. I'm going to go as far as to say it upsets my happiness. It, um, you know what, it, it's earned us a lot of diamonds. Um, it's done well. And, you know, we, we, we're thankful for that. It's, it's done its time. You know, let's retire it. I think we'll retire it. Um, I've actually been working in a creative world for a design that's going to replace this and it was going to go over that end of the shopping district but then this when I took this down in my creative world it just really didn't look right it, it looks so empty here um, and it could have opened up a new plot for somebody else but you know what let's just utilize it let's just let's just do it and utilize it and stop grumbling and get on and build this amazing shop that we are going to have here. And I think I'm going to probably do this in the form of a time lapse. Yes, yes I will.
Okay, so that time lapse was a tad longer than I anticipated it to be, but in real life it actually took me about an hour and 20 minutes to, to put it together. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. It looks like it did in my creative world. Um, I've done a few little tweaks, but it, in a sense, looks like a rocket. I'm really happy with that. Uh, we might have to go and put a book in Dim's Make Pre service because, if I'm honest, I may have come out a little bit further than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, so there's our rocket. It's on its launch pad. It's got some uh, magma for the uh, the embers that have come from where it's taken off or landed or, or whatever. It's just uh, to simulate that that's where the jet engines go. Uh, we got this nether rack uh, brick fence. I think that that one suits it the best. Um, I was going to put iron around here, but it just looked a bit flimsy. Um, so I decided to go with, with the nether rack uh, fencing. So we got some coal here just outlining the launch pad. Um, that goes all the way round and also around the back of that one as well. Um, so what I've done here is if we make it up the stairs, see this is where the speed really doesn't help you. Um, so we get up to the top. I'm going to stick a chest here and we're going to sell the actual fireworks. I'm pretty. Oh, oh, kind of pretty. Um, so we're going to sell them here. We're going to probably be quite expensive for those because of what it takes to make them. But we'll make a, a, diff a few different colours and twinkles um, and we'll, we'll sell them in here. I don't suppose they're going to be a big seller, but yeah, it's worth selling them. Why not? Um, so... If we go down here, so we've got the, the firework rockets pointing you up that way, and shop entrance is this way. So if we jump up the ladder and then in, this is our shop now. A lot smaller, um, easier to maintain. Uh, oh, I'll move that. Oh, yeah, okay, so I've moved that in. Yeah, that's fine. I just looked at that, I thought, that's not right. Um, anyway, so we've got three banks of chests, and that is because we're going to have flight duration one, flight duration two, and flight duration three. Um, so let's let's uh, put some signs on these now. Uh, flight duration one. We're going to do what we're going to do. We're going to do four stacks equals one diamond. I think that's a reasonable price. And flight duration two. And we'll give them three stacks equals one diamond. And last but not least, flight duration three. And we're going to give you two stacks equals one diamond. So yeah, so there we go, guys. It's, uh, it's a little bit more appealing than the one we had so I'm I'm quite happy with that and uh, yeah that's uh, that's a job well done okay so now the rocket shop is all done and looking pretty and beautiful over the shopping district dim has confirmed she has now received our book to make the platform look like a cliff again make it look pretty um, and we are now down in the um, slime farm that we dug out for her on a, a live stream uh, I don't know a couple of weeks back now um, and she has asked if we can build her a drop uh, or an offloader for her slime farm um, to, to basically make a storage room of it and an automatic collection drop-off system for a minecart hopper now we've done quite a few of these now on the server so we were kind of after her first pod call for it could you come and do it? So, yeah, 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 I can do that for you, no problem. So we are now down in the bowels of the um, slime farm. So if we just break through here, you can see, you know, I'm Gollum housing. Uh, there is one in there. There he is. Um, and she started the platform. She's got many more to go yet, uh, but she's got them going up there. And basically the slimes will bounce off after the island golems, fall onto the magma, die, balls, and then the minecart will then travel through, pick it all up, drop it off, and off it goes again. So our job here, after digging out five chunks, about 30 levels, 
is now to um, actually stick the offloader in. So that is what we are going to do. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going to give it a try, I'm not sure whether it will work, is putting it so that the, the collection system is about here. Oh, there's a thunderstorm outside. Um, so that it's here, and then the minecart runs over it and stops here, offloads what it's got to offload, and then carries on, and then back round, back through the circuit, back here to do it all over again. So that's what I'm going to try first and see how we get on. Alrighty, so after about an hour and a bit, no, I lie, probably about two hours, um, I've ended here. So I haven't touched any of this stuff, and I don't know why she used my big old redstone block there, just use a lever. Um, so all of this is still as per her design. Um, all I've done is I've put this facade here um, and then she's got the uh, the little sort of minecart offloader here so just underneath this block is a comparator goes into a block under there which has got a redstone torch which is powering this block into this repeater and when a minecart comes over here and uh, has items it then unpowers this rail keeps it there until it empties that hopper and then powers this again and off it goes um, and that just is continuous and then behind here is a drop of uh, this is into some glass which goes up um, through the glass and is on a timer so it will only spit out items as and when the items are in there um, then then if we go up the stairs this is where the drop of comes out of um, it spits them out into here, into the water channel, over the ice, and then along into the hoppers. Now, the two bricks I've just broken will now be in the chest. So, oh, there's only one. Okay. Ah, where's the other one then? Ah, oh, there it is. So, that is that. And I said to her I was making it pretty in here, and I would have made it even more pretty with these chests being a wall as well. Um but this has got loads of stuff in it. And if I'm honest, I can't be bothered to move all of that. Um, and she said it took a, a very long time to, to move it as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna move that. I'm gonna leave that for her to make it pretty in here. I will come back in a few days time, maybe a week. And if it hasn't been made pretty, then I will probably end up just making it look pretty. Um, so all of these chests are linked to hoppers which is fed by that water stream that's up there over the top of the hoppers. And as you can see, slime is slowly coming in. Um, this is just from when I've put the chests in, so not very long at all. And if I stand all the way at the back, it um, does kick off the farm. I, you know, you can stand here and every now and again you can go... <coughs> so we know that it is working. It just means that now all of this is done. Uh, Dim needs to go in and put extra layers in and more iron golems. And then, yeah, it's uh, it's a, a very good functioning farm for what we've got. Um, and now we've got more people on the server. She's gonna have more people demanding slime. So, hey, worth 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 making it work, isn't it? Um, so I've just gone and chucked these sea lands in because, if I'm honest, I hate torch spam. Torch spam really upsets me. Really upsets my happiness. So I've just chucked in these sea lands, but that'll do. So there we go. Okay, so I've now completely finished this build. Um, I've just got to stock the rockets that are right at the top. I've now put some railings here because Witsy was uh, whining that he could fall off and break himself. Um, so we've chucked some railings in here. Um, if we run up here, it's a bit perilous, but it's fine. It's a rocket. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to charge for any 20 that we put in here. You can pick any 20 you like for five diamonds. Like I say, it's going to be a bit expensive, but um, the amount that's going to go into it is um, is worth the money. And then up in here, we now have stock of all of the different rockets. And uh, yeah, that's that job jobbed. Now all I need to do is go and get a book for Dim and ask her if she can 
make our cliff look a little bit better because it's looking a little bit sorry for itself so let's uh, let's go grab a book we've parked our rocket on the shopping district hope we didn't flatten anything could you please make our cliff on the outer edges look more pretty you are good at that that'll do you it so let's chuck that in there and bob's your teapot so that is that so i think that is pretty much all we've got time for today and uh what a build we've done that is pretty awesome i am very very happy with that it looks so much better than what was there and uh it just just looks a little bit more something something doesn't it it, it just makes it so i'll uh yeah i will stand here and admire this for a little bit longer and i will see you lot in the next episode thanks for coming it's been a pleasure and an honor and i will see you all in the next episode thanks for coming bye